person sees all. Hey, but the magnetism, I think, is that's going to start with the eclipse. I'm going to be having some problems. So, I'm starting a video. My phone does not work. It says, check the phone line. Doesn't work. Hear that? You can almost hear like a pulse. You will we'll slow it down. You're going to hear uh, the pickup of the line and then the pulse and then the closing of the line. Let's hear that in slow motion. This really gets me mad because if there was an emergency, even with a neighbor or something that I, I wanted to call, I, I wouldn't be able to. This is during the eclipse. So, yeah. Well, you know, there you go. I'm trying to get it there. Nothing works. No websites work. So I went outside to film the sun because there's no internet. That's what you're looking at right now. The sun filmed on April 7th. This is at 3... Uh, 30 oh, approaching 3 30 so it's about an hour now after the stream and there's still no um there's electricity but there's no internet and it was going down and cutting during the stream and the telephones do not work it says check your phone line as you saw in the video so imagine during an emergency so that pisses me off so that's it the sun today april 7th Leading up to the eclipse, hours away tomorrow, I'll be spending the entire day getting ready and outside working and trying to film the sun also to see any, if not every thing flying around out there. It's impossible to see it all, eh? If you look up to the smaller, not small, sunspots to the left, you'll see some black spotting around it, like it looks like an orange peel, right? Those black spots are convection spots. They are spots where the temperature is not as hot as the surrounding area that you can see. And so we have all these drops in temperatures and rising in temperatures of the sun that scientists still don't know a lot about. That's a pretty big sunspot we're looking at right now, actually. We can see the convection spots on the left there. A lot better this way it's still a negative filter quite simply easy peasy negative filter that's what we're looking at look at the beautiful fusioning fires beautiful but scary and you see how it's starting to look like it's a bit cloudy on the surface where there's a blur around these uh, spots well I say it every time when that happens often this coronal mass ejection can occur even though they don't look that aggressive right now the one in the center does and we're leading up to the eclipse, of course. So, just a quickie, keeping you all informed about what's out there. Thanks for watching, and thanks for the interest, everyone.